Usually Excel is very good at adding numbers up, but in this example we can see that things look wrong. We've got a 2 and a 3, and Excel is showing the total as 4 for that. The problem here is caused by rounding. If we click on this cell, the price of the coffee is really $1.54, the sandwich is $2.54, and the total of those two is just over $4. But we've got some rounding here, so it rounds the coffee price up to the next dollar. The same with the sandwich, and this one, because it's closer to $4, gets rounded down, so the results look different. So these cells right now, if we look up, are formatted as currency. The decimal places can be decreased, so it's currency but with no decimal places. I'm going to select these three cells and change them back to general format. That's the default when you start a new worksheet. So now we can see that things look a lot better. It makes sense now that the $1.50 and $2.50 add up to around $4. Now, if I leave these as general format, Excel might do some rounding for me if I change the width of this column. I'm going to make it a bit narrower, and when I do that, there isn't room to show all the decimal places, so it's just gone down to 1. So now we're seeing $1.50 and 250, which still doesn't add up quite correctly. If I make the column even narrower, it's now showing us that incorrect total again of 2 plus 3 equals 4. And if we look up in the ribbon, we can see that this is still general format. We haven't chosen to hide the decimal places. Excel just does that automatically when the column becomes too narrow. So just be aware that if you do change column widths, Excel might do some formatting for you if you've left general as the number format. If you have selected a different format, I can go back to currency, and if the column is too narrow for that, it just shows number signs. I can make the column wider, and now it shows the entire number. So with this one, it's not going to do any rounding in stages. If it gets too small to show both decimal places, it shows number signs instead. And then when you point to a cell, you can see the actual number that's in there. So with general format, it will round down as the column gets narrower. For other formats, it will keep that format as long as it can, and then just show everything as number signs if the number doesn't fit. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.